it's pretty obvious what's going on out here. And, uh, you know, I just see a very concerted effort by today's culture to slam the door on the church and break covenants with God. It's very rampant right now. And if we don't get a hold of the things of God and who we are in Christ and the authority and power God has given us, we're going to lose this nation. I'm doing this video here to challenge my fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, Christians, to rise up and quit being lukewarm. Take your authority God has given you. You see, this, the seven mountains of influence in this nation have been just polluted with corruption over the years. You know, the business world, the arts and entertainment world, the education, the media, the family unit, the nominal religion, the, the church buildings have, have all been polluted with the ways of the world. And we've allowed it. We've sat back and allowed the covenants to be broken in our life. But that's not what God's called us to do. You see, before a permanent settlement of our nation was ever, de was ever established, this country was dedicated to God. You can look it up in, in your own time, but you know you can Google the name Robert Hunt. In 1607, Robert Hunt was on expedition, and he, and he arrived at Virginia Beach, and he planted a wooden cross in the sandy beaches there and dedicated and made covenant with God for this nation, that it would be a nation for God, that it would be a nation of biblical principles, and it would go out, and, and everybody in this nation would follow after and would reach the world. That was a covenant they made, and I know, I know God heard that covenant. I know God chose this nation to do that. And it hurts my heart to see where we're headed, but I also know the power of God. I also know that there's a remnant out there that can rise up and be who we're called and created to become. It's the rec ecclesia's responsibility to guard this covenant. It's 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 the people like you and I that are to rise up and step on the other side of the line and quit being a wimp and a weenie, but to be a warrior and to be bold in Christ and who we are in Christ Jesus. To take the authority that we have, as it says in Matthew 16, 8 through 19, we have the keys of heaven. We have the keys of the kingdom of heaven and as we take that authority, the gates of hell will not prevail. We're seeing it all around us where they're trying to shut out the church. They're trying to, to shut out worship and shut out all these things. Yet they're allowing the enemy to come forth with um, Antifa and, and these false gods out there that are driving the uh, th th that are just driving destruction in this nation. But you know what? We have a voice. We've been given a voice. We have an advantage. We have a superior power and a covenant. And if we we'll use our kingdom authority for that, we will win. We are not weak need. We are not spineless. We are not scared. We are the body of Christ. And it's time you take up your rightful airship in this body and be who God called and created you to be. You see, um, over in Daniel 11, there's, there's a dream here given about what's going on. And I'm going to read Daniel 11:32 here. And uh, this is a very important part of Scripture because it's talking about how the enemy has overtaken territories. And it says that he will flatter and win over those who have violated, violated the covenant. But the people who know their God will be strong and will resist him. To be strong. The Hebrew word, the Hebrew meaning of the word strong here that says is that, that we are victorious. We are well able to overcome. It's um, making himself strong. We are to maintain strongness. We are firmly in the grasp. There's, there's so many meanings here. You can look it up in the Hebrew. And um, we are established firmly in in our right standing with Christ, we are displaying strength. There's all these meanings in, in the true meaning of the word strong there. And if you will read that again, he will flatter and win over those who have violated the covenant. Speaking of the enemy, he will win over by flattery. We're seeing it right now in this nation. But the people who know their God will be strong and will resist him. We are to be strong and resist. We're, we have the keys of heaven. We're able to resist the tactics of the enemy. We have the authority. In Psalms 22 um, 22 verse uh, 22 verse 27 here through 28 it says the whole earth will acknowledge the Lord and return to him all the families of the nations will bow down before him for royal power belongs to the Lord he rules all the nations let the rich of the earth feast and worship bow before him all who are mortal all whose lives will end in dust the whole earth will acknowledge the Lord and return to him and we're going to see it in this time, but it's we have to, as as the body of Christ, rise and be who God called and created us to be. We are to handle it. We are to govern. We are to be the ones to govern. We are to be speaking the truth into this earth and quit sitting on the sidelines and tiptoeing through the tulips. Rise up. Be who you're called and created to be. Be a warrior. Quit being a wimp. Quit being defeated by the enemy. Quit allowing hell to flip the script on your life and take control of this. We've been given the authority, and it's time that we understand who we are in Christ Jesus. We are to stop acting like losers. We are to stop having a loser mentality. 
we have millions of angels ready to war on our behalf and we are to take authority and deploy these angels on our behalf and we are to war. We are to war in spirit and truth. We are to war in prayer. We are to war together as the body of Christ and quit allowing the division of religion to set us apart from that. We got to come into unity, folks. We have to come into unity. We have to rise up and be who God called and created us to be. It's time to quit the compromise. We have to know our God and know our rights through the body, through the word, of God. We have to. It's time for the diabolical structures of iniquity to be demolished in this time. And it's only going to happen through people like you and I. I just want to encourage you to rise up and take your rightful stand. If you have any questions about about what this looks like, feel free to message me or send it out. But we've got to get this right. We are, we are at the tipping point in this nation. And it's time that we take back what is ours. We have a covenant with God for this nation and it is ours. I just want us to be encouraged. I want us to, to do what God called and created us to be. And it's very strong in my heart that God wants us to rise up very boldly to have the, the roar of a lion again. That is who you are and that is who I am in Jesus' name.